in the tiki 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 room in the tiki 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 room <laughs> today on things i love we're going to continue talking about walt disney world we had such a great response last week that i want to take it a bit further and talk about my favorite land in all the world it's in magic kingdom Welcome back to Things I Love. This is show number eight, and I want to get started today by telling a little story about this drum I've got sitting next to me. We just recently bought a house, and when we went to look at it, we looked up in the attic and found several kind of odd things here and there, and, and one of them that we found was this drum, and I'm a, I'm a percussionist. I love uh, playing the hand drums, and so I was kind of sold on it. I, I thought, this is great. We get to keep this drum, right? <laughs> but then I immediately thought of the old movie Jumanji. Remember that with Robin Williams? and how the drum would just start playing in the, in the middle of the night, and, and it wasn't necessarily a good thing. I thought, what if this drum starts playing in the middle of the night? Thankfully, it hasn't. But it leads to what we're going to talk about today. My favorite land in all of Disney World is in the Magic Kingdom, and it is Adventureland. I love it. It's so nostalgic for me, and it's got so many cool things that I just wanted to talk about it a little bit with you today. But before that, we're going to start a new thing here at uh, Things I Love. It's called uh, the Toy Update. <laughs> Simple, to the point, but every once in a while I'm, I'm getting new toys to add to my collection here. And I wanted to show you something that I just recently got. Uh, this is the Most Eisley Cantina from Episode 4, A New Hope, Star Wars. Um, I kind of love it. It's, I, it's cool. It's small. Um, you know, I could use it being a little bit bigger, but it's kind of compact. It's got everything there. It's got the pod that nobody thinks about that uh, was sitting outside of the cantina and you can open that up and you can you can put a character down in there minifigure um, but it's got you know desert stormtrooper it's got han solo it's got uh, greedo and then who's this guy over here does anybody know who this guy is it's wooher he doesn't have a name in the movie but that's his name wooher and honestly people are buying this set for that minifigure um, it's that popular. So I just wanted to show you that. Pretty cool. You're going to begin to see a few things kind of in the backdrop here. And I wanted to show you that and show you how, how much fun I had making it. It was a lot of fun. I even made this, um, I pulled out all my extra pieces and kind of made this makeshift cantina sign. I thought that was pretty fun. It took me a while actually to get that to work there. I hope you can actually read it. Cantina. <laughs> but I had fun. I had a lot of fun with that. It was, um, $29.99, found it at Target, and so if you can find a better deal online, let me know uh, in the comments. I'd love to, to hear about that. Well, we're going to get started today talking about Adventureland. I love Adventureland. It is one of my favorite lands in all of the world, and uh, the way you get there is you just kind of enter Magic Kingdom. You go up through Main Street, and then when you get to the hub, which is in front of uh, um, the castle, it kind of goes off into this um, spoke system where all the lands kind of go off from that. You know, you got Tomorrowland to the right, and then you've got Fantasyland through the castle, and you've got Frontierland. And so uh, Adventureland is just to the left. So you get to the hub, and you go take a left, and you get to the to Adventureland. You can also get to it through Frontierland on the back side. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but I, I love it. You kind of go across this bridge to get in there, and, and all of a sudden it's kind of it gets a little bit more compact, actually. Um, but to me that feels like um, an adventure. It feels like the city to me when I lived in New York City. It feels like the jungle. Uh, when I've been to the jungle in the Philippines and it just gets a little bit compact, feels a little bit tight. I love it. But um, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you one of the major things I love about this land is the food. I love the food. So I'm gonna uh, list off a few can't miss food items here for you. Um, first, when you, when you first enter into the left there, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Sunshine Tree Terrace and get your citrus swirl. And now you've heard of the Dole Whip, we're gonna to get to that a little bit further down, down the line there. Um, but the citrus swirl is, is amazing. It's, it's, um, it's like the Dole Whip, but you can guess, it's kinda of got a, an orangey, citrusy flavor to it. Really awesome, tastes great, especially on a, on a hot day. You wanna get one of those. And then kind of in the middle of Adventureland, you drop, walk a little bit further down going to go just past um, uh, the Aladdin attraction and you're going to find Aloha Isle and that's where you want to get your Dole Whip and I know you might think Dole Whips are, are um, you know I see them everywhere on Instagram I hear about them they're just talked about too much well 
they're still pretty darn good. <laughs> so you want to go there, get your dull Whip. You can get a dull Whip float. That's what I got. Um, so good. And you can even get a pineapple upside down cake there. And those are good as well. So uh, you got your Sunshine Tree Terrace, get your Citrus Swirl. You got your Aloha Isle, get your dull Whip. And then for me, uh, you've also got um, a restaurant a little bit further down the road. It's a quick service restaurant called Tortuga Tavern. Uh, you can get your hot dogs and your pretzels and various things there. Um, but for me, I'm going to actually, I know this is, this is not in Adventureland. It's in, it's technically in Frontierland, but it's right at the end of Adventureland. So I, I have to go to it every time. It's Pecos Bills. And I know that's not in Adventureland, but it's right there. So when you've finished all your stuff at, at Adventureland and had a great time, head over to Pecos Bills there and you can get some great Mexican food and, and various other things there. But we, we usually get the Mexican food. It's good stuff there. Um, if you're headed, headed into Adventureland from Frontierland, uh, it'll be the first thing that you get to as you're entering on the left. So, um, love it. Good food there. I know I broke my rule there and kind of went outside Adventureland, but um, you need to know about that place. Pecos Bills is good stuff. Good stuff. Can't miss attractions. And when I said that this is a nostalgic place for me, I told you last week's show that, that I went to Disneyland when I was a little kid. I was taken by a guy at our church. He kind of took me under his wing and took me and his son to Disneyland uh, when my uh, parents were getting divorced and I was having a tough time. Well, at Disneyland, I, I, I remember vividly getting this shirt called Buana Mickey. I found it on eBay. I haven't, haven't um, spent the money on it yet, but I found it. Um, Bawana Mickey and it was in Adventureland and it was you know this whole idea of, of Mickey as a, a jungle um, adventurer and I loved it loved loved Bawana Mickey and so there's automatically this nostalgia for me and so the first thing that I that I find right there on the left if I'm if I've entered the Adventureland uh, from the hub I'm taking the left and then right there across from the Sunshine Tree Terrace is the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse I love this thing. It's, it's amazing. It, it's based after a movie, uh, The Swiss Family Robinson from 1960. Uh, so you got to see that movie before you go to the Adventureland. Um, I, I love that movie. And there, you know, there's 116 steps in this thing. So if you're, if you're a kid that always wanted a treehouse, or maybe you're a kid that had a treehouse, this is the granddaddy of all tree houses. It is incredible. As you're making your way up, you'll, you'll see this water pulley system kind of pulling with like bamboo, um, bamboo shoots kind of have been cut out to make cups, kind of pulling the water up. Uh, and so they've got this water system. There's bedrooms all throughout it. There's a library up there. There's a working organ that they have up there because in the movie, they're stranded. You know, their ship is stranded on this island and they, and they make the best of it as they do in Disney. Um, they take bits and pieces from the ship and, and build this treehouse. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, you know, I've heard people say that I went up there one time and I never went back again. It's one of those things that I have to go through every time. I love it. And I'll be honest with you, this last time we were there, we got sidetracked and just didn't have the time and I regret it. I'm not going to the top. Uh, I love it. One of the things that I do love about Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse is the views. I mean, the views are amazing. You can see uh, in all different directions from up there. It's, it's a really great, great view. And so there's that. Um, there's just, you know, great exercise. If you just want to get some exercise of doing your stair steps, 116 steps, um, but just some cool stuff to look at. You know, like I said, if you've ever wanted a treehouse, this is it. And uh, you can get some actually good ideas if you want to build one as well. So don't miss the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. It is actually kind of easy to miss because it blends into the foliage um, of everything, all the trees and, and foliage of Adventureland. But you can imagine, it looks kind of like a jungle a lot so don't miss it it's right there on the left right across from the um, sunshine tree terrace all right uh, the next one is the jungle cruise i'm sure you've uh, heard of the jungle cruise if you've not been on it a million times like me i love the jungle cruise um, it takes you through africa and asia and all of the animals are fake all of the people that you see are fake they're all uh, audio animatronics uh, some of them are actually a different type of um, technology that they use there that just kind of makes the animals come up out of the water and go back out of the water. And it's, it's just really cool. A lot of fun. And that's what, it's, that's what it's supposed to be about. You know, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, the word for that is nostalgia. Uh, the the uh, Jungle Cruise, I'd say the word for that is cheesy. You know, it's cheesy, but it is so much fun. Um, 
you know, they've got these quotes. It, the, what really makes the Jungle Cruise is the Jungle Cruise skipper, the person that's running your boat, that's taking you on the tour. Um, they just, they, they can either make it or break it, but I've never had anybody break it. It's been uh, great every time. Um, the Jungle Cruise skipper has all kinds of quotes that they say throughout the, the, the whole um, cruise. One of my favorites is uh, you go up to this waterfall and then you kind of, the boat goes around and you go behind the waterfall. In one way or another, they'll always say, ladies and gentlemen, here we see the backside of water. <laughs> it's cheesy. It's just cheesy, but it is so much fun. I love the Jungle Cruise. Uh, the next is the Enchanted Tiki Room. Love the Enchanted Tiki Room. The word for this one is just fun. Just fun. It was built in 1971. Uh, it's the first Disney attraction to use audio animatronics exclusively. So basically what happens is you go inside of this room. It's kind of a circular room. And it's dark in there and, and you can see, um, you know, there's foliage on the wall. There's stones. Kind of walls are made up of stone and trees and various things. And it just looks very jungly. Um, but when the music starts, this place comes to life and birds come out of the, come out of the ceiling and they start singing. And it's all audio animatronics, but it's 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 actually somewhat believable if you've watched enough Disney movies. <laughs> um, and the walls, you know, there's faces that come out of the walls and kind of kind of like um, totem poles. I lived in Alaska and I remember totem poles, and so they're kind of like totem poles, and they'll start singing to you, and and it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah, a little trivia here um, that uh, originally the Tiki Room was was uh, to be a Disney restaurant, not an attraction. And take that trivia a little bit further, um, they had to call it the Enchanted Tiki Room because originally they were going to call it Tiki Room and that was already taken for another restaurant. So they could not do that, it had already been trademarked, so they changed it to the Enchanted Tiki Room. And that's actually a perfect name for it, because yeah, it all comes to life, it's all enchanted, it's, it's pretty cool. And then the, the last one that I, that I say is a must see is Pirates of the Caribbean. I love this ride. It's such a great ride. It's a, it's what they call a dark ride. A lot of rides, in, a lot of attractions. I shouldn't call them rides. I know in, in Disney are called attractions. They have these dark rides, and you go through um, kind of an inside enclosed dark area, and this is on a boat, and so it's just got scenes set up from uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Now I will say there's a there's a debate over the years as to whether or not the old Pirates of the Caribbean before the movies is the best or since the movies because since the movies came out they've kind of changed the ride and added Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow and various scenes from the movies. Uh, I'm more partial to the original, um, the original Pirates of the Caribbean and there's still aspects of it that are from the original. Um, if you've been there like the dog with the keys in his mouth and all the people and all the pirates in the jail are trying to get the keys from him, um, that's original. But you know they've added the Jack Sparrow stuff, and I get it. I get it. They're they're bringing in the, the little kids that um, have grown up with those movies, um, so I get it. Still love it. It's a great, great, great attraction. You want to make sure that you, you, know, you go there. So so here's the deal. Why do I love Adventureland so much? Well, I think Adventureland resonates with me because I've discovered that life is one big adventure. Now, sure, it goes back to whenever I went to Disneyland as a child and got that Buana Mickey T-shirt. Uh, it was like one size fits all, but I was a little kid and it was huge. <laughs> but I remember that, Buona Mickey. And so that's got, got me um, going to Adventureland as much as I can. Um, but really, honestly, I have lived my life as one big adventure. Uh, and that's because I've been willing to do whatever God wants me to do. I said to God, look, I am your tool. Use me however you want to use me. I'm your vessel. Send me wherever you want to send me. And he has. So you gotta be careful when you say that to God. You will do that. And so I've lived all over the place. I've lived in Alaska, I've lived in New York City, and uh, Arkansas, and Tennessee, and you know, been all over the place. And I love it. My life is one big adventure. And so that's probably why I love Adventureland. But I'd like to hear what it is uh, that you love about Adventureland. And if Adventureland's not your favorite land, which I'm sure many of you are watching and you're like, no, 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 Tomorrowland, or Fantasyland, or whatever it happens to be, or, or Main Street. Main Street is awesome, too. Um, what's your favorite land in the Magic Kingdom? You know, uh, one of my favorite parks is, is the Animal Kingdom because it's very similar to Adventureland. 
Uh, but I want to hear from you what your favorite land is in the Magic Kingdom and why. Let's talk about that a little bit. All right. Well, uh, I'm glad that you're, you've been with us today. It's, it's been a great day and, and just I love talking about things that I love and Adventureland is one of those. So uh, I hope you'll join us next week. If you haven't become a subscriber yet, we're looking to go uh, up to 100 subscribers by April 1st. And so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that little bell. They'll notify you uh, every week whenever these new videos are made. Um, I want to make sure that you get on board with this, this positive um, adventure that we are on together. And then also, if you, if you like this video, um, hit that like, a uh, little thumbs up there, and, and give us that thumbs up, and we would love uh, to hear that as well. All right, well, this is Things I Love with me, Mark Eddington. Just a little bit about me to help you be more you. All right, little tiki room action. Here we go. In the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. <laughs>